Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Mountain Air First Craft and Survival System. Uh, definitely a little bit different uh, video, as you can obviously tell by the title. But uh, came across a week old video here that uh, I thought was potentially highly important, so I kind of wanted to share that with everybody. So uh, I even had to make notes on this one. So uh, for all of you who, whom this information may concern, uh, this. Uh, if you want to check out the full video, by the way, just get into your YouTube search. Just type in Butler County Sheriff addresses what he learned at conference. Uh, of course, you know, I kind of compress this. I just want to get the main points out. All right. This is from a Sheriff Rick Jones from Butler County, Ohio. Uh, he uh, went to a national sheriff uh, training conference in D.C. Uh, and in that conference, they uh, they were briefed by the FBI director and several other federal agencies. Uh, he explained that uh, U.S. wide, there's only uh, 3,300 sheriffs, which I kind of thought was pretty low, to be honest with you. I thought there's quite been quite a few more than that. But uh, he went on further to state, uh, Biden refuses to meet with the sheriffs as well as any police chief regarding crime or the border. Uh, they were told by the FBI director, there are more red flags going on right now than there was during the 9-11 incident. So that's, that's some serious uh, food for thought. Uh, but they're... Uh, yeah. There's more red flags. And during 9-11, uh, basically meaning there's people in the country that wish to kill and or harm U.S. citizens, basically, in a nutshell. Uh, they were told by the FBI director it was not a matter of if, but when. These are people that want to kill and harm us, is basically uh, he quoted uh, what the FBI director had to tell them. They are going to attack elections, both local and national. Uh, they have uh, told them to be ready for cyber attacks, even on the local level. But uh, the uh, federal agencies, the federal government, will not be able to help them. So don't even bother calling them because they're going to be busy dealing with other things if this stuff happens. So. Basically, your local law enforcement, EMS, and fire is what you're really going to rely on in a crisis situation is what, I, what I'm gathering from the way you said that. Uh, and, it, you know, said basically the yeah, military and the National Guard will not be coming. He, the sheriff went on to say in Butler County, uh, specifically his location, he's just merely going to, he also stated he assumed that this is probably the same, if not worse, in other places in the U.S. Uh, Russia has attacked their computer electronic systems, uh, it, which caused them to be down for two months. Uh, they tried to hack into their dispatch, everything. Uh, uh, the Russians are still attacking all systems every day. Uh, Chinese tried to attack their cyber systems five times daily. And Iran has also made cyber attacks three times a day consistently. This is still, this is still going on. All right. Uh, he went on to say, what are they going to, what they're going to do about it? Uh, basically, they got, they're putting uh, assault rifles in every police vehicle. They have uh, put in basically uh, emergency uh, bug out bags, go bags in the vehicles as well, with a lot of extra magazines of ammunition. Uh, they're going to start training civilians. Uh, right now, they are limited at, at 30 people to be able to be trained at a time, but they're going to try to work on making training available to a much larger group of individuals. And that is for them, people to know how to deal with emergency situations and crisis situations. Uh, and he just wanted to make the statement too that the grid system as well as communication systems are under attack. 
and he went on obviously to say that he can only assume that that's you know multiple places in the u.s is also suffering from this uh he's also was worried about drones they do not have the ability to detect or stop drones uh the feds will not share any drone technology with them right now they're searching the uh the civilian sector trying to find out anybody has any means to help them with this issue of both tech detecting and stopping drones Claims that uh, China has safe houses in every state in the United States. Uh, that that was allegedly what the uh, director of the FBI had told them during that uh, conference, and that China is helping the Mexican cartel and the Mus Mexican government uh, with fentanyl coming into the country. And currently, the number of people we got to defend against cyber attacks. Uh, are outnumbered 50 to 1 by those who are doing cyber attacks. All right. So, now that, that was highly nutshelled. Uh, I, like I said, I recommend you go watch the, uh, the video itself. But as far as getting prepared goes, and things like this is obviously a very good reason to be prepared, to have some uh, food, water, lights, you know, all that stuff. Uh, Batteries, I guess I should say, something that give you the ability to have light. Uh, communications are really important, too. If you can find some alternate means. Well, I guess the wind thought I didn't need that door open. Pardon me. <laughs> yeah. Got some weather coming in. A little bit of a storm coming. Uh, but uh, if the infrastructure is attacked and we, when we have a lot of trouble with, you know, the Internet, uh power stations, you name it. They can attack and shut off. I mean, I remember, I remember again. everybody remembers what happened to the uh, gas line there just a little while back. They held it for ransom, things like that. And these are serious disruptions that can negatively impact your life as well as your family, friends, and loved ones. And it's kind of, kind of the thing about being prepared. Uh, do it while you can. Make sure you guys got enough stuff put away last for a little while in case things get real bad if the uh all of our systems get shut down it's going to disrupt everything food delivery uh gas to homes water to homes electricity probably one of the first things they go for is electricity uh it's, you know, it's just a fact of the way it's going to be so do your research try to find out what you can do to get better prepared uh most of it's pretty simple like i said i i recommend Far more than three days worth of food, water, and all that. I I highly recommend way more than that if possible, because if all these systems are attacked by individual cell groups, and they get to go ahead and they attack multiple systems at different areas, and might might even be people come in behind them to reattack it after it gets straightened back out. You don't know how long you're going to be about services, and most stores are on a just on time delivery basis. That means three to four days is they get a new shipment and it's the only way they can maintain enough items in the store to take care of the people that come in and need to buy it. So do your best it, and it's everybody's responsibility to take care of yourself and your family. Get yourself prepared because like I said, you know, uh, I don't understand why this wasn't had more focus in the news. This, this really should have been, you know, something that uh, was made pretty, pretty more, you know, available for the public in general to see. Uh, that video had quite, a, you know, 700 some thousand views, but I just happened to randomly come across it in my feed and I had not heard anything about it. In general, that most people I've talked to about it today, I never heard anything about this. So with that, we'll go ahead and cut this video. Uh, I just wanted to share this information, maybe give people a heads up. Hopefully nothing happens, but from the sound of it, they're really expecting something to happen. So don't get caught flat-footed, everybody. Be prepared. With that, I'll see y'all in another video.